Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So that is Lake Erie, and there's an island chain off the coast of Ohio where a particular snake exists, and it lives on those islands in a tiny little population on the mainland, but it exists nowhere else on Earth. And I've always wanted to come out here and go out to those islands and find it. It's the Lake Erie water snake. It was once the most endangered species of snake in North America. So for me to get out to those islands, I've got to hop on a ferry and go spend the day touring one of the islands looking for the once endangered Lake Erie water snake. Again, it's found on those islands, small little population on the mainland, and nowhere else on Earth. So let's go and I'm going to get you guys up close and personal with the Lake Erie water snake. I'm Dave Kaufman and I tour the world to see how reptiles are living in the wild. And while I'm at it, checking out some of the most amazing facilities and reptile expos as well. It's all about learning, appreciation, and conservation. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Rainbow Mealworms, we grow all our insects 100% naturally so that you get the freshest, most lively feeders on the market. So for all your reptile food needs, place your order today at rainbowmealworms.net. So I made it out to this beautiful island here in the middle of Lake Erie. When the early French explorers first came upon these islands, they called them the Islands of Snakes because they encountered thousands and thousands of snakes here. So I'm going to walk along the shoreline in these swarms of bugs out here. Holy crap. And hopefully we'll encounter the same thing that those early French explorers encountered. However, I think I'm a little bit more excited to see those snakes than those early French explorers were. Look at this bonus right here. This isn't a water snake, but this is another snake species that I hope to find here. Whoa, come here, bad boy. Look at this. This is an Eastern fox snake. Hi, buddy, you're all tangled up. Look at how big this guy is. Oh, what an awesome bonus. An Eastern fox snake. I'll tell you, Rattlers, you come out to a place like this to find water snakes and you find a big, beautiful bonus like this eastern fox snake. He's deep in shed, but oh man, is he beautiful. Now, there's two different types of fox snakes in the world. There's western fox snakes and there's eastern fox snakes. And here in Ohio, on these islands in Lake Erie, you're going to find the eastern fox snakes. Now, there's differences between easterns and western fox snakes. And the eastern fox snakes, generally speaking, have bigger, darker saddles on their back and they don't have those real orange heads that the western fox snakes have. Now this snake is deep in shed and you can tell because his eyes go blue or opaque and so he's gonna shed within the next week or so but he's still a beautiful snake even in shed. But I'll tell you you come out to an island in the middle of Lake Erie to find a very specific species of snake and find a bonus eastern fox snake, man, it just doesn't get any better than this. So I'm gonna let him go exactly where I found him and continue the search for the water snakes. All right, buddy, there you go. Go back to your sunning spot. See you later, buddy. You know, fox snakes are called fox snakes because they secrete a musk that is reminiscent of the smell of fox dens. 
I don't get it either. And you know, that one was super chill. They're not aggressive snakes at all. And that one didn't musk at all. So all he wanted to do was sit in the sun and bask and go live his life. So anyway, I'm gonna continue down this path and see if I can finally find those water snakes. All right, look at this. This is a board that has been laid out here right on the edge of the water. I bet you there's gonna be 50 water snakes under this. You ready? Let's do this. Uh, okay. I, I meant zero. Zero water snakes under here. That's what I meant. All right, Rattlers, there we go. The first Lake Erie water snake right there, and it's a big one. Holy buckets, look at this bad boy. I'm gonna go in for the catch and hope I don't get bit. Whoa, 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 easy, easy, easy. Oh man, look at this big, beautiful Lake Erie water snake. Man, they are just snappy little dudes. Woo! All right, buddy, come on. Oh, look at this big, beautiful Lake Erie water snake. Man, there are so many bugs here and I'm getting eaten alive, but this is so awesome to be out here and find what was once one of the most endangered snake species in North America. So the Lake Erie water snake was a state endangered and federally threatened snake found nowhere else in the world, but on these islands out here in Lake Erie. And by the year 2000, these snakes were almost wiped off the face of the earth and there was only about one to 2,000 of these left on the planet. And of course the reason was human habitation of these islands and therefore habitat destruction And of course these people saw that these islands were full of snakes and they instantly started killing them But thanks to researchers like Kristen Stanford who came out to these islands not only to study the snakes But to talk to the people and explain to the people that live on these islands the importance of these snakes Now the population of these snakes on these islands here in Lake Erie is estimated to be about 10 to 12,000 individuals So the Lake Erie water snake's success gives a lot of hope to other endangered species. Because of people like Kristen Stanford, the Lake Erie water snake was only a threatened species for 12 years. 12 years of protection was all it took for this species to go from about a thousand individuals to over 10,000 individuals today and be removed from the federal listing of endangered species. That is a really awesome success story that, you know, let's face it, we rarely get to hear those kinds of success stories when it comes to the natural world. And there's another reason why these snakes populations have exploded on these islands in the past 20 years. These water snakes have a very interesting success story in that there's an invasive species called the round goby here in Lake Erie. And it's creating a lot of problems because this invasive species that's native to the Black and Caspian Sea in Russia is extremely destructive to this lake's ecosystem because it eats all the native fish eggs and fry. They are destroying the natural ecosystem of this lake. So how do you solve a problem like that? Well, the Lake Erie water snake is actually solving that problem for us. Now, 90% of these water snakes diet is the round goby. And these snakes are actually thriving here because of the presence of this invasive fish. So as these snakes population continues to increase on these islands here in Lake Erie, the problem with the invasive round goby decreases. It's just another example of how absolutely amazing these snakes are and how beneficial they are to preserving this ecosystem. So the belly pattern is what really gives this snake away from the northern water snake. And whereas northern water snakes have little half moons on their belly, these guys have almost plain bellies. Look at that. And their dorsum or their back is a uniform dark color. Babies are really heavily patterned, but as adults, they turn slate gray like this and almost are patternless, just a little faint pattern. And that is the major difference between the Lake Erie water snake and the Northern water snake. Again, the Lake Erie water snake is a subspecies of the Northern water snake. But this is such a beautiful snake and so worth the trip out here. Usually these guys bite your hands off, but he's just super chill and not biting at all. And I wish I could say the same about the flies. Man, now they have an anticoagulant in their saliva, so when they bite you, you just bleed and bleed and bleed more so than let's say a garter snake bite. But look at how chill she is. So I'm gonna let her go and see how many more of these I can find out here.
All right, look at this board here. Now these boards here were put here by researchers. So because they're here, I'm gonna flip them of course, but I'm gonna put them back exactly where we found them. But being a herper, I just can't resist flipping these. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a little baby one. All right, so this is a baby Lake Erie water snake. Look at how heavily blotched they are as babies. And then again, as they get older, they turn slate gray. Just a great looking baby water snake. And the reason why babies are more heavily patterned than the adults are the babies make really good meals for a lot of animals and birds out here. And they need that blotched pattern to aid in camouflage so that they can disappear in plain sight. And any predators that come along aren't gonna be able to readily see it. Look at this guy out here just hunting. Look at how uniform brown he is. I'm walking right up to him, whoa! <laughs> Easy, buddy. Easy. Oh, look at that. He's biting me. Ow, ow, ow. Stop, 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 stop. Come on, buddy. Oh, look at this beautiful water snake. All right, so this is a classic example of a Lake Erie water snake. Classic water snake attitude. He already bit me once. This is a classic Lake Erie water snake. Just a beautiful little dude. All right, buddy, you can go. You're free to go. Go on. Happy hunting, buddy. So I'm here in mid-June right now, and the breeding season for Lake Erie water snakes is between about the end of May to about this time of year. And look what I found right here. There's a whole breeding ball of Lake Erie water snakes right here. Look at that. This is a breeding ball. This is where multiple males compete with each other to breed with a single female. It's very similar to the breeding balls that I saw with the garter snake video when I was in Winnipeg filming the garter snakes. And water snakes, they're related to garter snakes. So coming up on a breeding ball and witnessing the same kind of breeding behavior that I saw in Winnipeg at the Narcissus snake dens, it isn't really surprising to see the same kind of behavior with Lake Erie water snakes here on this island in Lake Erie. All right, Rattlers, look at this. Here is another massive breeding ball of Lake Erie water snakes. There's just tons of them there, but wait, there's more. You come over here, and there's another breeding ball right there. And then for some reason, there's a big lone female right here without any males on her. She didn't get asked to the prom, that's sad. But look at this, Rattlers. Another breeding ball right here. Another one in there. So you've got one there, one there. Lone, ugly female here. Breeding ball here, but wait, come over here. And there's yet another breeding ball right there. So within a span of what? Maybe 25 feet, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six breeding balls, again within a span of about 25 feet. That is a huge success story with this species. So you can see that the males are massaging the females, and what that does is that stimulates her into breeding activity. And for lack of a better word, they're getting her in the mood. And then these males will compete with each other to actually lock and copulate with the female. That's going to ensure that she is going to become gravid and have a viable litter. Now, these snakes are live bearers. They don't lay eggs. So in a few months from now, she's gonna have a litter of live babies. And with any luck, those babies that she's gonna have this year are gonna be right back here doing this exact same thing in a couple of years and guarantee the next generation of Lake Erie water snakes here on this island. This is just absolutely amazing to witness this in the wild and to know that the future generations of the Lake Erie water snake are being secured right here in front of me.
So Rattlers, I love herping islands because islands are sanctuaries for wildlife. There's not a lot of people on them. There's a ton of people on this island, but generally speaking, there's not a lot of people on islands all over the world and therefore the flora and the fauna and the reptiles just flourish on islands. So I love going to islands to find snakes and I love being able to come to islands like this one in the middle of Lake Erie to witness such an incredible success story with the Lake Erie water snake. But right now I've got to run. Uh, my flight leaves in like three hours and it takes about two hours to get to the airport and I smell like snake musk. I do not envy the person that is sitting next to me on the plane. Hashtag sorry not sorry. Hashtag no it wasn't a fart. Hashtag rattle on. As always like this video, share this video, visit our sponsors. Their link is in the description below. As always hit that subscribe button when you do hit that bell so you never miss an upload and until the next reptile adventure love the planet feed your reptile obsession and rattle on.